we're back and we're on our final leg of this quick series on getting started if you've got the Kodak Picture Saver scanner and you're just getting started for the first time. First of all, you've got your scanner. In this case, we also have a flatbed. We've downloaded as well the Kodak Picture Saver scanning software. We've downloaded the photo selector software. We've got everything plugged in and we're getting ready to turn things on. You always want to download your software first, of course, then you turn your, your equipment on once you've got it up. It won't launch until things are turned on, um, but this way you make sure that the computer is all set to go and then you turn on the equipment and let it find it. So let's talk about the sequence. The sequence is what I call a one, two, three sequence. If you are just using the Kodak Picture Saver Scanner and you didn't buy any additional software, you still have a very powerful tool to scan with that can be found down into your system tray. You can place it on your taskbar. You can make a shortcut to it. You can find it in your programs. This program is called Smart Touch. It will allow you to scan. There's lots of videos that we prepared for how to work through that and as well as Kodak Alaris. You have just really the, all the raw power of this, this equipment there. The Kodak Picture Saver scanning software, if you've been, purchased it and installed it, it will give you more of a kiosk experience and it will place an icon right up here, a shortcut on your desktop. On the desktop, you don't want to launch that till we've turned everything on, but you've got your software to launch. So that's number one, everything's on my computer. Number two is if I am using the picture saver scanning software or the photo selector software, I've got the dongles plugged in. Now, obviously, if you're only going to use your photo scanner, you'd only need the picture saver scanning dongle. If you were going to use the flatbed and the scanner together, you can use your photo selector software, which is an optional tool. However, please note this scanner uses components from here, its engine, as well as from the software. So you must have both on if you're going to use the legal scanner or the A3 scanner, right? So the next thing, the last thing is to turn on the scanners themselves. This device, we're gonna turn on the flatbed first, then we're going to turn on using the rocker bar behind here the scanner and it will find itself. It will turn red and then it will turn green. And at that point, with a green light on your flatbed, lighting's a little tight, but we'll go like that. And a green light on your scanner, we're ready to go scanning. Choose either the Smart Touch or the Kodak Picture Saving Scanning Software and you're ready to go. If you have any other questions, please let us know. Check our Easy Photo Scan channel on YouTube. Lots of different videos about scanning techniques as well as setting up different kinds of scanning profiles for the Smart Touch Scanner. And if you have any other questions, don't hesitate. We're available at Easy Photo Scan at 1-866-468-7250.